the 17th ranked Florida Gators in game two of the three game series. Game one Sullivan this season. Yeah, she's somebody that stepped up big time for Kentucky so far. Continue to be impressive. First in the SEC in hitting at four this year. She's got great speed. This is trouble. Sullivan will try together, but not even close. Wallace beats it out. Base was really good last weekend for Florida in their series against Ole Miss. They took two out of three. Her shoulders just going up there and having quality at bats. Blow by Koffel. She'll turn the double play as Wallace was on the move. Two down. Kentucky in this series. That gives them six on the season. Fewest in the SEC. 2-0 to Walsh. Swings at the 2-0 and pops it up. Wind is blowing towards left. Koffel calls for it. To first inning in the lineup for Kentucky. A little flip at the top here, Madison. Kayla Cole. Feeds really well, has that rise ball, drop ball combination. But one thing that she needs to try to. Against Florida State in the midweek, went two and a third. Kowalik with a line drive and a base hit. Great way to start off senior day for Kayla Kowalik. Maddie touched on last five games. Koffel was in the leadoff spot and Cole. Taylor Ebbs on deck. And it's ball four. Koffel walks a ton. Teams will be careful with Koffel. And momentum from those quality at bats transfers over into this weekend against Florida. Five home runs on the season for Ebbs. Looking to sacrifice here. It's an excellent bunt. Eccles up and throwing for the out. And the sacrifice is successful. Koala to Elizabeth Hightower. Hightower gave up two hits last night. Both out. to mix. Yeah, mixed speeds and throwing the rise ball on different planes. And speaking of rise balls, huge strikeout <laughs> <Delbray> by <laughs> Lexi Delbray with Kennedy. Just missing a bit above the letters. Tries to bring that one down. It looks like it hits Warsung right on the elbow. And it hit Warsung, and I think. Holder <laughs> here on the 3 0. <laughs> that runs inside. It's a four pitch walk and an RBI. And Kentucky jumps out here in the first. Their 25th pitch. Harrison goes fishing, doesn't get it, and the side is retired. Kentucky picks up a run in the first. And on scene the last time we checked, so in that RPI, of course, is a calculation. It's straight enough. Because I think my, my mind keeps going back and forth to how these teams are playing to the numbers, and there's a lot of things away. Robbed by Tobias of a base hit. Good for you. Put national rankings in your rearview mirror. The better off over. Clearly, the Aces Kentucky team was out for a month, and there's a reason why they slid down in a round. But you win this series, you go on a run in Fayetteville at the SEC tournament. You never, never know. Wilkie with a fly ball to center fielders. Blanton two away. Mississippi State, they left 27 on base. And 21 of those 27 were in scoring position. Left the bases low. Adjustment in their game plans in the box. Can't just go to the short game every single time. Tobias lays down the bunt. That'll move the runner over. So a second. By Charlotte Eckel. She thought about going two, but the speed of Vanessa Nesby, she was going to get there. Kowalik picked up her 73rd hit of the season in the first and scored the game's run. This one is grounded to the shortstop. Wallace on the first, just in time, two down. The way that Aaron Koffel has been swinging the bat, I would absolutely put her on with first base open. So that's. Yeah, 10 in the series, Maddie. That misses, and the bases are loaded for the second straight inning here for Kentucky. Arkansas, that means Georgia will be the number two seed. They're playing LSU. They're mistake. for the SEC yes. tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Kissler with a pop-up. Shallow left. Koffel calls for it. One away. and ms done for the season in the SEC. 12. I said Falby. It's Gelb. Head out to the circle and lock in. This one is hit hard by Gell, straight away center field, and at the fence and pulling it in is Blanton. You had your senior day in Knoxville. When you see senior day ceremonies, it's to your mind. Morrison, how about a base hit on her mind? 
Leadoff single for the songs that reminded me of my dad and I playing softball growing up. That time I did manage to get a hit, so so it was fine. Another bunt attempt. Delbray throws it away down the right field line. This might score a run, but there was a hesitation at second. Scooped up by Longley and still sliding in is Smith. Yeah, I think maybe she pulled the throw a bit because Emily Wilkie over at first base is actually pointing for her to throw to second base because of that hesitation. Thulin, the junior, will step in. Certainly in a situation like this, we've talked to him throughout the season. This has been a pitcher who has first pitch in a 2-2 count. Swung on and missed. Thulin aggressively after Trilicek. There's out number one. But now the lefty facing the lefty Trilicek. This one is lifted. Caught by the left fielder Kissler. Tagging up and coming home. Is 58 walk. Back up the middle and a base hit. Koppel comes through with the single. Falby brings the throw to the plate. It's not in time. And now they've got the runner off safely. Four so nothing. The girl's going to get underneath the drop ball to drive it straight back up the middle. You can tell that Skylar Wallace was anticipating that Koffel was going to pull that ball to the five six hole. But Koffel, because she was able to keep with that single in the first, it means Skylar Wallace has reached base in on the season. And she's on base again for the second time here today. There is a finish in the season was set in 2018, the mark 582. It's about ready to be against everyone, including the very best in the country. Oh, Eccles puts a charge in this one, hit deep to left center field, and that one is gone. Charlotte Eccles or deeper she let that pitch get in hits it right on the sweet spot of the barrel good extension out to right field and blasts that thing almost into the scoreboard to cut the Wildcats lead in half with just one Katie Kistler <laughs> very elegant <laughs> squib too short Koffel retires Walsh one away I could just see you saying, all right, can we just get this over with? I have a game to win. And then maybe at your sister's, you know, you've kind of softened the emotions a little bit. And you're a mom now. Great at bat for Wilkie. It's a two out walk. She's aboard here in the fourth. To third in the seconds. This one is hit out to left field. Stepping back forward is Nesby to retire the side. But Florida gets a pro and she perhaps can continue to play beyond her time at Florida. And you would certainly see that, but that there's more there. That it's out. Only six mm. strikeouts on the season so far. You go back to 2021, only is a phenomenal third base, but also what she can bring with her bat up at the plate. Morsun with the bloop to right for a base hit and scored has the play of the day in the field robbing a home run this one is a soft roller knocked down by the second baseman but Walsh can't of their games we've talked to Tim Walton throughout the season Reagan Walsh second base is so there's a connection there playing clean softball has been good to them this one is to Walsh who has to go to first to run scores it's 5-2 Kentucky Nesby lines it to Eccles to retire the side. Kentucky adds another run. And at the end, team glasses. Well done. So, Seven Innings Podcast, plenty to go through on Fayetteville. Just a question of where the seating will be. And this will be a leadoff single for Kissler to get things going for the Gators here in the fifth. It throws a perfect game, six inning perfect game to win at Ole Miss. And then Patrick Murray, like South Carolina, Donnie Goborn, who has been... Combo between Madison Kerpix and Shelby Walters in the circle has proved to be very efficient for them this year. Grounded through in the center field, a base hit. Going first to third is Kip. Falby grounded to Colin Full for the fourth out of the last five batters faced by Sullivan. This is lifted deep to left, carrying way back and off the wall. Gets away from Nesby. 
Kistler scores. Here comes the second run. And Falby somebody who we typically see slap from the left side, but she goes up there down in the zone, but she does a nice job of mixing her speeds. Every once in a while, she's going to throw that rise ball up in that pitch, especially on the inside part of the plate. I think Skylar Wallace has done such a good. Ready for another 3-2. Swung on and gloved by Koffel. The throw on the first in time, but Wallace gets the job done. Falby scores, and we're tied at five. Another really good at that by Skylar Wallace. We talked about her fouling off rise. Nice was robbed of extra bases by a good glove by those six strikeouts in one the 11th pitch of the at bat chopped right side Harrison will get to the bag in time for the outs it's the minimum and then second time through the lineup Wallace walked Eccles Swung on and missed. Gain gets the strikeout to retire the side. But Florida comes back. We've got a 9-1-2 against Riley Trilicek here for Kentucky in the fifth. Margaret Tobias with a chop to short. Wallace to first in time. Slump for the past two seasons. The longest has been an 0-6 for run. That's two games. Rounds out to second. Go on. We'll just we'll, we'll just to be able to field it. But she can also hit with authority. She can lay down a bunt. Just has truly been a pleasure to be able to watch Kayla Kowalik play throughout her career. Koffel. Leading game two of that series, but couldn't hold on to those leads. This is a fly ball lifted out to Falby in center field. They're up 4 0 today, and Florida has come back to tie things up. On Gayen for the first time, she was 0 for 2 against Kennedy Sullivan this afternoon. 3 1. Egan's aboard for the first time today. It's a leadoff walk here in the six. This one is lifted to shallow center field. Blanton puts it away for out number one. Longley grounded out to third, flight out to left. Longley back behind the plate. Kowalik has it, two down. Now that she's able to take those full cuts back, the Tigers really excited to have her back in the middle of the order. Kissler to Tobias to retire the side. Here is Sullivan against Trilicek. Ground ball off of Eccles, and Sullivan is aboard to get things started here in the sixth inning. We've had our eyes on this game, but weather in regular season. Larson lifts it out to left. Good jump on it by Kistler to put it away for out number one. On the Sullivan leadoff, it's a single and scored in the third and reached on another error in the fourth. This one is gloved by Wallace, up and throwing the first, and it gets away and scampering back. Harrison to the right side, glove there, and... Wilkie will take care of it to hit a two-run home run to give the Gators the lead. That turned out to be a 3-2 win. Ground ball to Tobias. One away. Falby hits it well to center field. Going back is Blanton. Can't get it. She's down on the dirt, and Falby's got great speed. Around second, heading to third. Second triple for Falby. Another hit coming with two strikes. Wallace lifts a fly ball, shallow center. Falby's got great speed. Bland very shallow in center. Here she comes, the throw is high, and Florida has the lead. Here's a 3-2. Once again, Eccles. This one is hit well to left field. Going back is Nesby. Turning around, it's off the wall. Eccles slams. Nice ball on different planes. She'll throw it low in the zone. She'll throw it high in the zone. Primarily on the... After those first two innings for Kentucky, where they left the bases loaded, thinking a bit too much results base hunting hits. But that's when you're playing right into the pitcher's hand. Into the hands of the pitcher. Hightower off the bat of Nesby. Back up the middle, the number nine hitter comes through for Kentucky. She's aboard with one down here in the seventh. 
four pitches and going the distance last night in Lexington. Lifted to deep left field, drifting back and up the wall. Tobias had to hold. She's ready. Two intentional walks, two traditional walks for Koffel, who reached base five times. In the dirt, Tobias will come home to tie the game. And then the tying run comes across. Fly ball lifted to right field. Is it deep enough? Charging his gals, tagging and coming home as Kowalik. She's safe. those bases loaded situations in the first and second inning and Kentucky needing somebody to come through